Well, that's looking pretty good. Nice little project that we did on the weekend and um, came along well, hoping for some good results when it starts to rain. Pretty hot days right now here in BC. Uh, no rain, so we actually don't even need this drainage, but it's gonna come in handy when it does actually start to rain, which it will. Um, hey, buddy. <laughs> Horses. Okay, so I've got a quick clip here that I want to show you. Uh, done on a trail ride that was a little bit early in the morning, so uh, sometimes you get those real lights and darks. And to combine that with water uh, that's moving and sort of ripples and, and gives uh, a little bit of an illusion to the horse's eyes, uh, sometimes to human eyes as well, that uh, it, there could be some deep spots or shallow spots or, you know, the lights and the darks. So I'm um, going to cover that in this video here. I'll narrate it a little bit as I go through it and uh, hopefully enjoy. So thanks for watching. Might as well put myself in frame. All right, so another day trail riding with Benny and uh, we're doing a little bit of water practice today. And the thing about this though is it's early morning, so um, it's not well lit. And by the meaning of that, I'll show you here. Uh, let's see. So you can see down on the ground, I'll just stop Benny for a second, that we've got these lights and dark areas. And, okay, Mr. Busy Pants. Okay. Okay, so back to our light and dark areas. Just wander over this way again. Now, when you come up to a spot like this, you can see we've got a real sharp sort of silhouette. Hmm, looks kind of good. Um, these kinds of lights and darks to horses are hard to uh, determine exactly what's happening. The dark spots obviously look, we've got a reflection. But the dark spots look like they're deeper. The bright spots look like they're, you know, not as deep. And, um, oh, we're not leaving yet. Not there. Anyhow, so the reason we, the reason we practice this stuff is to get him used to the idea that we're going to just walk around in water There'll be reflections, there'll be lights and darks and bright spots and deep spots and shallow spots and all kinds of stuff. This really bright spot that we made it back to, um, is very shallow, so it's actually very easy to walk in. So it's very, just very good practice for kind of getting around in water, um, getting used to rushing water, moving water, and uh, and hopefully have him just stay calm and cool about it all. Beautiful day. Absolutely wonderful. It's 9.30 or so in the morning or something. Just got some amazing scenery going on. As you can see, definitely one of my favorite spots to come to. The, uh, the riverbed is just this nice river rock. Oh yeah, pro tip. Not sure if it's a pro tip, but hang on baby, stop for a second. Thanks. Um, walking your horse in water like this is great for their hooves. It'll, uh, if they need a little bit of a trim, they'll actually just wear themselves Benny. Just be cool. Um, they'll wear their hooves down just nicely along the edges and stuff like that. And anything that needed to kind of exfoliate off will actually get moist. So this is good practice as well for having your horse just get quiet even though this isn't a spot where they naturally be quiet. Horses don't just stand around in water but it's be good practice. Anyhow uh, so they'll, uh, they'll they'll wear their hooves down a little bit and anything that was going to exfoliate will exfoliate a little bit easier because it's wet and moist and 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 the river rock isn't isn't sharp 
But hey, let's go back to where we were. Come here. Good. Right there. Oh, just takes practice. Stand. <laughs> Stand. Uh, anyway, so the, the river rock, because it's kind of soft and not sharp, even though there is some sand and smaller ones in there, will just nicely exfoliate off the stuff that needs to come off uh, while not sort of chipping off the stuff that doesn't need to come off. So, still trying to hold Benny in one spot. He's getting there. It's a good day. Beautiful. We're going to continue on, hopefully head that way. So, here we go. It's getting deeper over here. Benny's keen to go that way. Back the way we came. I'll go this way. 